So before going to process the Sentinel-2 data, we need to understand few things about its events. Simply type on Google Sentinel-2 events, open Sentinel-2 sensor satellite website. In that you will find it not the all band in a Sentinel has a 10 meter resolution. It has a band 2, band 3, band 4 and band 8 only this band in a 10 meter resolution so we only need to process these bands so let's open the image in RGIS to process it at this band go to add data this is the file which we have downloaded and extracted in that one more file in that it is a granule folder again one more folder in that img data in this press the control button select 2 3 4 and 8 check it 2 3 4 and 8 and add this all band So this is the all the bands. We need to stack it. Go to Windows, click on Image Analysis. Make sure all band in the serial order. Like two is first, then three, four, and eight. You need to maintain the serial order in this case. So select first one, shift last one, and click on this yellow button composite bands click it and now it make it a composite file so remove the extra files we does not need it close the window in this file this is a temporary file we need to make it a permanent by exporting this file so right click click on a data and click on export data save wherever we like let's say save in a folder i let's say create a new folder stacker and add this folder type tiff or give a file name anyone which are we like and click save click yes it will take a considerable time to save so I am pausing this video here when it will process we will continue again it will take around 10 to 15 minutes so video uh, so our image is processed so it taken around 5 minutes to process this data click on yes button it is added here so it is better we can make a subset of this image to work faster there is a one drawback you can see is a band 1 band 1 and band 1 1 is appearing this is a little drawback in RGIS from sentinel to data so we no need to worry about this band 1 1 1 this will be automatically corrected when we subset the image. So let's we prepare our study area. We will select some study area. We are not going to process the whole area otherwise it will take a too much time. Let's we create a shape file in a drive. Let's we create a one folder 
new folder for shapes create a new shape file here right click new shape file convert it into a polygon and make give any name like uh, cut click on edit import the projection system browse any of a, your file this is tackled file browse the same file or you can manually select also utm zone of your study area also click ok and ok again so new shape file is added make it hollow for better viewing change colors and other things then right click edit start editing and editor toolbox will open in editor toolbox click on create features in create feature dialog box click on the cut shape file we are going to cut a square area so in the construction tool click on rectangle so let's define a rectangle by specifying the first point click anywhere in the first point and second point somewhere here then right click at the second point does not left click and click directions and type 270 press enter now it is perfect square and simply draw it editor save edits editor stop editing close everything now we are going to cut this study area click on our toolbox In the R toolbox, click on Special Analysis Tools, Extraction, Extraction by Mask. Browse the raster file. Then browse the shape file. By using that file, we are going to cut that area and specify output location like subset folder give any name dot tif any name whichever you like you can give here click ok it will take a while to process So it is cutting this area in the defined extent. So it is completed. Uncheck this file or you can remove this file also. Even though it does not need this shape file. Now we have a this file. You are wondering its colors why it is looking like that. Let's first we correct it it's looking. Change the band from 4, 3 and 2. This is the default infrared view. Now we change its property for better representation.
in that property try to alter in a stretch it is a percentage clip change it to standard deviation and click ok so now you can see it's looking is going better so this is also method of change the looking of an image you can clearly see the agriculture field the urban area the open land and everything is visible very clearly in this so in a next we are going to classify this image using some machine learning tools we need to use this so click on save as let's we save somewhere else in a mxd folder i am going to save in mxd machine learning and save it we will continue work from here in the next video but before that we need to install some tools in ArcGIS so let's we are going to install that tools